good morning you guys and welcome back to a brand new vlog let me just start the vlog off by saying it is early as hell right now it is literally 7 30 a.m and i've been up since 6 a.m so literally an hour and a half i've been just sitting in bed thinking like am i really gonna start this video today should i do this video today and honestly i think it's about time i get up and get my together so here we are so i'm sure you guys are already way ahead of the game and by the time this video comes out y'all are well aware that fall has fallen okay my whole idea for fall was to do this whole seasonal monthly reset but i was so busy at the end of september with schoolwork because you guys know i'm in college and then trying to put out that aruba vlog y'all that aruba footage had me in a chokehold so i hope y'all enjoyed that vlog but i was not able to get to it and i couldn't really do the whole fall festivity thing so i'm like you know what october 1st perfect time to start new month new everything october 1st comes comes around it lands on a saturday who the hell wants to reset on a saturday we'll start on monday monday fresh week fresh reset monday comes around i don't really have an excuse for monday but today is tuesday october 4th and i think it's time we get the ball rolling so i wanted this video to be just a very fall themed vlog i did a similar video to this last year called like get ready with me for sweater weather and i just love the energy that came from that vlog so i was like okay i gotta do another one this year i wanted to get a really early start to my day because i just feel like i don't utilize my full 24 you know so i have a couple hours before i to leave the house because i have to move my car at 11. alternate side parking very ghetto new york fix it up i have some fall essentials that i need to get and it's a couple stores that i want to stop at so i think i'm going to do that today honestly from there this video is really just a free-for-all i feel like i've been planning my vlogs very spontaneously so we're going to kind of go from there something i haven't done yet is my monthly digital planning and putting all my due dates and everything in my planner so i definitely want to do that for the next couple hours until i have to go out they always say like if you have an apple pen and an ipad your life is just so put together a year and a half in the game and i'm here to tell you my life is still in shambles but 10 out of 10 would recommend oh, yeah. Yeah. after a very long drive i made it to the mall this is the mall that i did my school shopping video in which if you haven't watched that i really like that video personally so i think you should go watch it but i'm back at the westchester i wanted to do some fall essential shopping i've been seeing a lot of people shop at aritzia for like fall wardrobe essentials and i want to go in there i did go in there one time and i'm not gonna lie them prices is not cute i try to go in there see what i could find i'll probably get maybe like a sweatsuit or two because i heard that their sweatsuits are really good quality and then they also do have a ugg store in here i really want to stock up on my uggs last year i only bought slippers i didn't even buy any boots i want to see if they have the mini uggs in my size i want to get them in literally black chestnut and gray so hopefully they have all three in my size i might just have to spend all my money at one shot so i don't have to continue shopping all the time i think those are really the only two stores that i came here for but i also want to go to zara like if i could find a zara around here i would want to go to zara zara has so many good coats like around this time of year come out with so many good furs so many good leather jackets and i really want to hit up zara if i have to go to another mall after this i literally Make the statue bad attitude. This ain't a person, it's a statue. 
Go to any nigga with money up in my bracket. Then I think about the state of rap and all the freshmen in the classes, all the super seniors mumbling and rambling, mumbling and rapping, mumble rapping. I find it hard to find actual talent. I find it hard to find an actual challenge. I'm like Shabazz Palaces, last ass hit, elaborate, rap labs, labyrinth, word to Kodak, blacks, Lazarus, call drops hey, on the album skin. I'm the channel that you watch, I'm the ammo on the. Okay, so a little update. I did go to Ugg. I got two pairs of Uggs for myself. I got the chestnut pair and the black pair. And then I also got a pair of Ugg Tasmans as a gift. They didn't have the gray ones. I wanted to get all three kind of just at one shot. I would have to order the gray ones in order to get them. Also, I'm kind of pissed that I bought my Uggs in a size 7 women's because a size 7 women's is five kids. And kids are a little bit cheaper, so I would have saved a little bit of money. I don't want to wait till later on when it actually does get like really cold. And then I can't find them at all. And I don't really want to run around looking for Uggs. I did also try to go to Aritzia, but I'm going to be so honest. The girls really talk about Aritzia like it's H&M prices. I picked up a bodysuit, $98. Crop top, $58. Something you could get on Shein, something you could get in H&M Forever 21. Don't get me wrong, it is good quality, but it's not $58 worth of good quality. And it's not even that I have a problem spending money, it's just what I'm spending it on. Like, it just... Now, the one thing that I was willing to spend money on in Aritzia was these sweatsuits, but they didn't have the wide leg pants, so I wasn't going to get it if they didn't have the pants. And then online, it says it's not going to ship to October 31st. Three sweatsuits are $400 and something dollars. I'm paying $400 and something dollars plus shipping for it to not be shipped out till October 31st. I think that's kind of crazy. So, maybe in the future, I'll get, like, at least one sweatsuit from Aritzia just to see what the hype is about but honestly i don't see myself doing it anytime soon right now i'm about to drive to a whole nother mall going across county because i need to go to a zara like zara has this one jacket that i am fiending to get and i will not go back home without that coat remember on my last video somebody commented this is the first time i ever saw a youtuber go to cross county or rich hill and i'm just like so where do where are we supposed to shop please point me in the direction of the youtuber mall please because I, I what i probably look so full of myself Good morning, you guys. Every time I say that, I feel like I'm supposed to be like, good morning, welcome back to another vlog, but it is literally the same vlog. So I just wanted to give you guys a little haul of the stuff that I bought yesterday because I came home, I had a homework assignment that was due last night at 12. So I got that done and then I went to sleep, completely knocked out for the rest of the night. And now it is the next day, here we are. We're gonna do like a little haul. I only ended up buying stuff from two stores, which was Ugg and Zara. I explained to y'all the Aritzia situation. I think I might order those sweatsuits, but I'm not 100% sure. But if I do, I think I'm gonna do like a dedicated fall haul where I just show you guys all my fall pickups. But I never buy my clothes like all at once. I always do like throughout the season or just if I find something new or if somebody introduced me to something new, I'll go and shop. But there was also a couple Zara pieces that I saw on the website that actually weren't in the store, like this one leather jacket, super fire. So I think I'm gonna do like like a little bit more of online shopping i also do have a package from amazon i went on amazon and bought like some fall room decor because i want to decorate a little bit i try not to decorate too much i feel like when the decorations are too seasonal then next season it's like i have a whole bunch of stuff to put into storage as you guys saw i went to ugg in westchester they gave me this big old bag because i got two pairs of uggs i just feel like these fourth quarter months are like the best time to buy uggs like you cannot go through a fall winter season without a fresh new pair of uggs like so i did get two pairs of the ultra mini uggs i told you guys this when i was in the parking lot of the mall but i wanted to get a third pair i wanted to get gray but i couldn't get my hands on it they were out of stock and i would have to order them online this is the black pair this is how they look they're really low cut they're like damn near slippers <laughs> it's a brand new crispy pair of black uggs i cannot wait to wear these then of course i got the classic chestnut pair like this just screams fall i love this vibe y'all this gives me like pinterest i don't even think i was really like hip to tumblr when tumblr was a thing but this gives me just like the old school youtube tumblr this reminds me of when instagram was less about trying to like create this whole image and we was just posting whatever i don't know every time i see a chestnut pair of uggs it just it gives me so much serotonin like i love these uggs i'm gonna show you guys the stuff i got from zara and in all honesty i went in there for one coat and one coat only y'all that coat is so fire i'm gonna save the best for last though but i'll show you guys the other things i got i didn't go too too crazy in zara i'm actually just now getting on the zara wave i'll be the first to admit when i started youtube i started getting a lot of free clothes from like my sponsorships and stuff so i was never really inclined to like go out of my way and go and buy new clothes because i was just getting clothes sent to me all the time so it honestly did take me a little while to hop on the zara trend but y'all zara has some bomb 
pieces also i feel like zara's a little more on the affordable side especially for the quality that they have like their stuff is really good so the first thing i got were these two basic short sleeve crop tops again super good quality the shirts are ribbed i feel like these are really good for layering and i don't know i feel like you can never go wrong with basics i love zara's basics because again it's just such good quality these are the type of things like you wear over and over and over and over so i did get the top in white and then i also went ahead and got it in this green because you guys know this color is like super trendy people have just come up with a thousand different ways to wear this color so i wanted to incorporate just a little piece into my wardrobe then i went ahead and got another sweatsuit i've never had a sweatsuit from zara i actually wasn't gonna buy this i grabbed it like really last minute because i was just like how can i pass up just a sweatsuit it's the most comfortable thing you can literally wear this is just a sage green sweatsuit i got the bottoms in a medium and the top in an extra large i don't know why i didn't try this on actually i do know why i didn't try it on i hate trying things on i don't know if that's just me i don't like trying things on one thing about me i'm a guest and then last but not least the freaking showstopper like this is why i went to zara this coat right here oh this coat gives me like girl i don't know i just love this coat so much and i feel like i've had coats similar in the color black but i feel like just the brown and the like light brown or nude it's just so like warm like i don't know how to describe it it just reminds me of like a teddy bear and i cannot wait to wear this let me just peel my address off of this so i don't make any mistakes I'll show you guys what i got from amazon like i said it is mostly room decor and then one thing is kind of like miscellaneous but i i'm just extra so i bought it anyway the first thing i got was a new comforter i got this like burnt orange color i feel like my bed right now even though it is a complete mess i feel like it gives very much christmas with the flannel kind of vibe and i also have this christmas pillow that i keep on year rounds i'm sure you guys have seen in the back of my videos i'm getting this comforter i feel like it's just really fitting for this time of year will it probably go into storage after november yes but it's here now i'm actually gonna put this comforter on my bed as soon as i'm done filming this because i just watched laundry on the first and i have on plain white fitted sheets which is exactly what i wanted to be with this i like the kind of white and orange look so i think i'm gonna do that it's also two pillowcases in here and i have four pillows so i'm gonna do two white two orange do the orange comforter and the white fitted sheets i think that'll look pretty cute so if you guys haven't noticed yet i did not stop at bath and body works i did not get a candle you guys are always saying like every vlog is not a chance to get another candle like you literally take every vlog it's a chance to get another candle and i did not go to bath and body works i did not get a candle because personally i don't like the fall smells in bath and body works but i did find this candle on amazon and i thought it was so freaking cute it's a skeleton in like a like a cauldron i think that's what it's called it says a bath but it's like a witch cauldron i think this is the cutest thing ever i literally want to open this right now honestly i'm dying to see how this looks i don't even know what fragrance this is i didn't even check because i just thought it was so cute i was like i don't even care what it smells I was like i just want to get it oh my gosh y'all this is so cute i thought it was gonna be bigger because the box is really big but y'all look how freaking cute this is no really get into the details i know i'm a candle fiend but y'all is this not the cutest freaking thing ever oh my gosh i love this it doesn't smell bad like it actually does smell good but i can't put my finger on what the scent is it definitely doesn't smell like fall or like anything sweet it actually has like a really clean smell to it this one i still considered room decor but this one is like the one that was like kind of unnecessary and i think this is super cute too but did i need it no i ended up buying these ice cube trays that are shaped like skulls so i can like make my little like fall drinks like a little chai or like a iced coffee or something i don't know this again was very unnecessary Necessary. did i need to buy it no but it's fall time y'all listen whatever for the vibes it doesn't matter like listen i don't care what nobody says money can't buy happiness but money can definitely buy vibes so that's all that came in the amazon box and i'm kind of bummed because i bought these three stuffed pumpkins for my bed yes again it is very seasonal i know i literally just said i don't want to buy things that are too seasonal because then i'm gonna have to put a whole bunch of stuff in storage i bought three stuffed pumpkins and i think they're fairly big in size i didn't know i was just like okay when they come i'll figure it out but um they still haven't arrived yet but y'all they are so cute i got them in like these three neutral colors. actually i'm gonna show you guys hold on i'm gonna show you guys what they look like they are so freaking cute but it says that they're running late so i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to fit them in this vlog i really hope i am because when i tell you this literally sets the mood look how cute honestly wait hold on i gotta lower my brightness look how freaking cute these stuffed pumpkins are those are the three colors i ended up getting i ended up getting white yellow and orange and i feel like that would just be such a good contrast to the burnt orange sheets i think it'll be so freaking vibey but honestly it says that they're not going to come till the 7th to the 12th that is 
more than a week at this point so i hope i can fit in this vlog i really hope that amazon pulls it together so i can have my pumpkin patch on my bed but until then this is what we have for room decor it's not anything super super crazy i do usually decorate my room very bright because i'm into bright colors i'd be lying if i said like neutrals are my favorite they're not necessarily my favorite when it comes to like my living space i love bright colors i feel like it makes me feel so much happier inside to see like a bunch of different colors that's why my favorite color has been yellow lately i just love the bright colors i do have a little bit of cleaning up to do but i definitely want to get to putting these new bed sheets on it's not going to take that long it's not like i have to do the fitted sheets i literally have to just take the comforter off put this one on it also like i said comes with two pillowcases so i have to make sure that i do that as well good morning babes you guys know it's anything different so as you guys can probably tell we have a whole different hair color and i just wanted to pop on here and show you guys because i did not record the install process you guys are always asking me like who does your wigs who installs your hair it's me girl i didn't record this install for a couple reasons one i thought you guys didn't care about hair footage but every time i don't record it you guys are like oh my god what hair is that where's the hair from who did it again i'm the one that installs all my hair and this is a beauty forever wig no this is not a sponsor i don't want you guys to feel like i'm trying to shove something sponsored down your throat no this is not sponsored i bought it with my own money but it is a 33 b colored wig and you guys can just search it up on google or amazon because i'm not gonna lie the beauty forever one was kind of expensive i threw in a couple of these little like curls wave kind of things i'm gonna be so honest my patience runs so thin when it comes to curling irons although i love the curl look i cannot do it if you guys can't tell the back is not curled i literally just kind of like curled or like bumped the end so it kind of fits in a little bit so i'm kind of sad that i didn't record the install though because i feel like every time i experiment and try to do things off camera they end up turning out good and i'm like why didn't i record it but again i never promised to be a good youtuber but i love you guys anyway so so yeah i really don't even have anything to do right now but i wanted to pop on and show you guys the hair i feel like this fits the fall theme so well like literally this couldn't have been a more perfect time to do this color and i'm glad that i did you guys know when the hair is done life is complete like everything is complete once the hair is done so we're gonna just move on to the next clip of the video again i just wanted to show you guys my hair if i'm being completely honest but y'all are my besties so i feel like i could do that right just call you and be like bestie look at my hair oh my god but yeah i am literally starting to ramble you guys know i can talk to y'all all day but literally so cute so today we're gonna be doing the thing that I kind of dreaded the most because I do not like fall drink. You cannot get through fall without Starbucks. Like that's kind of the foundation. Like fall literally starts with Starbucks. So I was gonna go the day that I went shopping. Didn't end up doing that. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just go today. I have a nail appointment later on, which is why my nails are now soaked off. They look very, very like shot. I asked you guys on Instagram, what are some of your favorite fall drinks? Because I feel like y'all know how to finesse a drink. Like y'all really know how to finesse a good drink. Y'all be adding drizzles to this, pumps to this, shots to this. So I'm like, you know what? Their drinks will probably be way better than what's on the normal Starbucks menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Starbucks and I'm going to order like the first three. And hopefully, hopefully, honestly, I don't really want a pumpkin spice. But if you guys can give me something else that's a little like fall vibe that's not pumpkin spice, then um, that'll be good. we finally made it to starbucks i'm in the line the line is literally wrapped around the building but i rather embarrass myself through the like little intercom thing is it called an intercom i don't know what that little the speaker i rather embarrass myself through that than go in and try to order you guys' drinks y'all be having me sound just a little sometimes okay i want fall in a cup like i want to taste i want to taste the leaves you guys did give a lot of answers but i said i was gonna pick the first three that i see so i see the caramel ribbon crunch extra crunch i don't know what the crunch is but we got extra that ice peppermint white mocha i feel like that gives christmas so i'm not gonna do that one the next one is a pumpkin frap two pumps white mocha extra caramel and cinnamon doche topping then i'm gonna do an ice chai brown sugar syrup pumpkin sweet cream cold foam and pumpkin spice powder i'm gonna get all of them in a tall because i I just know I'm not gonna like them, bro. When it comes to fall time, the smell's not my favorite. The drink's not my favorite. But I'll vibe with y'all, you know? Like, I'll have my little hot chocolate. I could do a little hot chocolate. All right, y'all. It's almost my time to shine. All right, hold on. Let me get my orders ready because I already forgot which ones I'm ordering. Okay, so we got our top three. The first one is going to be the iced chai tea with pumpkin cream cold foam, pumpkin topping, and it's iced. All of these drinks are cold, by the way, which I'm glad. I don't really like hot drinks unless it's hot chocolate. I'm not really a fan of hot drinks. So I'm gonna try this one. I think I'm going to like this the least. Oh. 
Okay, you might have did something with this. It tastes like, you know when you make cinnamon toast crunch and then the leftover milk? That's what it tastes like. This is not bad at all. This is like actually not that bad. Like I can drink this whole thing. Okay, that's a strong start. That is definitely a strong start. Now I'm kind of scared because I feel like if I like this one, it's going to be at least one that I don't like. We're going to do the pumpkin frappuccino next. This one has extra camera, two pumps of white mocha, and cinnamon dolce on top. Hopefully I like it. Again, this is pumpkin flavored, so... Fingers crossed. Mm. This one's thick. Hold on. Maybe I like pumpkin. Okay, I found out something new about myself today. Because these aren't bad. These are okay. This one's not bad either. All right, let me move on to the next one because I can do this all day. All right, so this is the last one. This is the Caramel Ribbon Crunch Extra Crunch. It doesn't have the label on it. That was, that was straight off the dome, okay? All right, let's see if we could get three for three on the fall drinks. This is literally a McDonald's Caramel Frappuccino. But I want to see what the crunch is about. I want to get one of the crunch. Are they actually crunchy? Oh, they are, but I don't like that. It gives me like butterscotch vibe, and I was never really a fan of that, but the actual drink itself is good, so. I am not mad at this little lineup. Y'all actually did pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of prepared to judge y'all just a little bit. It's all love, it's all love, but I definitely was gonna judge you guys just a little bit. And for all the trials and tribulations, you guys know I gotta reward myself with a little cake pop. Y'all know how I feel about these. I say this every single time. I think I need to put this on a t-shirt. Starbucks cake pops are good slightly raw the best thing starbucks ever did was come out with this cookies and cream cake pop this is like top i feel like i've talked about this in one of my blogs before but if you guys did not know about the cookies and cream cake pop from starbucks please try it if you're not a chocolate fan you're definitely not gonna like it but if you're a big fan of chocolate and white chocolate you're gonna love this all right i need some water take off the fufu take off the cloud chase take off the wi-fi take off the money phone take off the car loan take off the flex and the white loss Take off the weird ass jewelry. I'ma take ten steps, then I'm taking off top off. Take off the fabricate streams and the microwave memes. It's a real world outside. Take off your idols. Take off the runway. Take off the Cairo. Take off the Sandro. Pay five days stay. Take off the meal. Have a five day. Take off the fuck flag. Take off perception. Take off the pop with the hot pad. Take off the hurdle. Take off the unsure. Take off the solutions I had. Take off the fake deep. Take off the fake woke. Take off the I'm broke. I care. Take off. Take off the gossip. Take off the new logic. The fun with jungle. Take off the shit mill. Take off the dojo. Take off. The world in a panic, the women is stranded, the men on the run, the profits are vanished, the law take advantage, the market is crashing, the industry wants niggas and bitches to sleep in the box while they making a mock of following us. This ain't monopoly watching for love. This ain't monogamy, y'all getting fucked. Jumping on what the hell is that? I gotta relax when I feel. All my descendants, they come in my sleep and say I am too real. I'm done with this. I just got out the shower. My hair looks a little. It actually doesn't look that bad. I'm not about to come up here and be like, oh my god, my hair looks so crazy. It doesn't. It's not that serious. I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but this is how my nails ended up coming out. They're gold Frenchies. I think they're super freaking cute. I just wanted to do something that was really like minimalistic and not too much, but it has like a dash of fall in it. As you guys can see, I went really freaking short. This is literally like acrylic overlay at this point. I have really long nail beds and my nails actually can't go shorter than this. This is quite literally the shortest that I've ever gotten in my life. But I love it. And my nail tech told me she was like, you should do short nails way more often because they fit you really well. But I'm about to put on some cuticle oil because this has been like my new thing. I feel like they just make your nails look so fresh and like you just got them done. Also, it is just healthy for your nails. I don't know why I just became like a salesperson for cuticle oil, but I swear this is like always on my person. But anyway, guys, guess what came in the mail surprisingly because we were literally just talking about this. Can y'all just take a wild guess about what this is? Because I had to open it. I felt that it was super hard. And then also, since when does Amazon ship in this kind of packaging? This has to be like a third party packaging or something. Y'all probably can't even hear me over that wrapping. But y'all, these are the pumpkins. These are the pumpkins. Not they sent it to me in frozen meat packs. What is this? I am appalled. Y'all, they done freeze dried the pumpkins. I am sick right now. This better inflate the way I think it's going to inflate. Because y'all... What is this? Is this a joke? These look like the rags that you used to soak in water. Please tell me y'all had that experience as a child. Like, please tell me y'all heard about those. Maybe it needs like 24 hours to marinate in oxygen. Y'all, I'm over here trying to help it out. I feel like it should be more like round. Okay, it doesn't look that bad now. It actually doesn't look that bad. I have zero hope for these though. Hold on. Bro, y'all gotta hear the sound when I cut it open. 
Um, all right, don't lie. This is actually kind of cute. Do not mind Chucky in the back. I don't know what he got going on, but this is kind of pretty. Oh my God. I need to stop spending money. All right, y'all. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here because Yuka is all full activity out besides Fright Fest. I definitely still got to make sure I do that before October's over. That is like a must on the whole Halloween to-do list. So I definitely will be going. I think I'm going to go on Halloween like I did last year because the vibes are just there. Like everybody's in their Halloween costumes. It's just lit. I love Fright Fest and that really sets the mood but that's all the way at the end of the month so i'm about to get into bed and i want to find out how i can watch gilmore girls because i didn't even know what gilmore girls was prior to like this fall season and everybody's been posting it but it seems like everybody's fall comfort show my fall comfort show was scream queens i used to watch scream queens down like i didn't care how many years it's been i'm gonna watch scream queens on repeat all the episodes my girl ariana grande was in there but i want to try to find out about gilmore girls i never heard of it and i gotta find out how i could watch that i'm probably gonna have to pay for a subscription for something y'all know these subscriptions is not getting any cheaper okay that's pretty much gonna be the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i try to give you guys a little sprinkle of fall you know your girl is not that aesthetic when it comes to stuff like this but your girl is trying okay stay spooky dior dior out of here